Grant, a 5 0 defeat. How do you process that one? Got what we, we deserved. We were poor. Um, as bad as we've been. In fact, probably the worst we've been. Uh, lost too many duels. Uh, didn't start the game well. First 10 minutes. Don't think we spun them and got them behind them once. Played everything in front of them. We knew they're good in transitions. First goal comes from our own free kick where we passed it, passed it back, passed it back. Give Louis an under hit ball. He slices it, comes back. It's a corner. And then we let people inside us. So it's really, really it's a simple goal for them to concede. We let them in too easy. First, with a 1 0 up. And second goal is the same. Comes in again um, of, of coming inside us and scoring. Um, but we're nowhere near it today. Um, rightly and deservedly got booed off the pitch. So it was a shocking day for everybody. I guess the hardest question so soon after the game is, is why so bad? It looked at half time as though Morecambe were better in every department and then went and proved it in the second half. Yeah, they were. They were today. They were better in every department. There's no, there's no doubt about that. Um, I'm never one for making excuses, and I always, I'll always tell you, you know, the truth. Um, but it is difficult when you've got 12 players missing. Um, th three of our, you know, controllers, if you like, and in, in close and Westbrook and Broadbent, um, is hard, and um, you know, it's caught up on us a little bit today. Um, I don't, I don't think we had enough aggression about us, enough bite about us. We, we were lacklustre. Um, didn't run enough. Um, so these are these are things that I can't comprehend really. That's something that that I can't have in my team, and uh, you know that that'll change moving forward. That starting eleven though is good enough, isn't it? Well, you'd think so, wouldn't you? Oh. Um, yeah, you'd think so, but obviously not. You know, so um, it's a difficult one at the minute to talk about it after you know the game. I want to, I would like to watch it back, and um, the players will watch it back. We'll be in tomorrow um, because we need to we need to go into this week uh, and a busy period of us with, with getting that game out of the way ASAP by watching it back by looking at things that we can get better um, that's not that's not acceptable though. Is that a change from what you would ordinarily do? Have you had to change you know, the plans for the rest of the week based on what you've seen this afternoon? No, just, just usually the boys will have a Sunday off but I think we need to address this ASAP um, you know, we, we work so hard and I said during the week, I said, you know, we can be we can beat anybody in this division when we're at it and we can also get absolutely battered by anyone in the division and you've seen that today. Um, so I'm really disappointed with that. That's something we need to get better at when we're not at our best and and maybe being, you know, a bit more streetwise savvy, um things like that, you know, when we're when we're under the cosh a little bit, but Okay, it, you know, you think back to when they scored, we had a really good chance to equalise. We don't take it. Um, chance from Mo, where he should score, and he should score the rebound. Um, we didn't take it, and then from there onwards, it was just, you know, they, it was, it was one-way traffic. We, we knew, uh, we, we prepped the boys all week. We, you know, we showed them clips of them breaking in transition. Their front four are, are quick and strong. Um, couldn't cope with them. What was the kind of tone of the message that you've had to deliver to your players after that? Nothing. I didn't speak to them. I just said, I'll see you tomorrow. We'll debrief it tomorrow. Um, there's no point in me. I'd rather sit and watch it. I'd rather, you know, debrief it properly. And then we'll we'll present it to the players tomorrow. The stats don't lie. You know, black and white, you know, people putting out of challenges and things like that. That's not acceptable in, 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 in any of my football teams. Is that going to make harder watching second time round? Exactly. No, it's the same. We do it every game. Win, lose, or draw. So the process will be the same. The only thing is it'll be sped up a bit, and we can start Monday afresh. Obviously, we're debriefing this game tomorrow. From memory, obviously there's five goals to to kind of quickly digest, but all different types of goals. One from a set piece, one from a long range. Is that a, a worry? Two from set place. Yeah. You know. So um, yeah, that's. It's just listen. It's it's without sitting here and going through all the goals mm. myself, and I've seen them there quickly, briefly. But um, it's it's what leads to the goals and, and how we're conceding them, you know. And uh, that's really disappointing for me. I've spoken to you before in here many many times about letting people inside, and, and again, it's happened to us. So um, yeah, it's a, it's a poor poor day for us, and I fully understand the fans' uh, frustration at that because you know that is totally unaccept unacceptable. What do you have to say to the fans? And it's always I'll always have to be here and, and, and apologise, and, and of course, and, and that's what I want to do. You know, it's we don't mean to go out and put. I'm sure the players don't mean to go out and put performances on like that, but um, 
is just a difficult day for everyone. I feel really hurt and, and disappointed at the minute, uh, and I'm sure the fans do as well, so I, com I completely get that. The ruthlessness that, that Morecambe showed, is that something that you want your side to, to do? You know, really grab hold of a game and, and give someone kind of a kick in? Uh, yeah, look, but first we need to stop conceding goals. You know, it's, to concede that many goals at home is, 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 is embarrassing. It's embarrassing for everyone, really. Um, we need to be more solid and more strong in, in our foundations before we can think about being good at the other end of the pitch. Um, so that, that'll be something we need to look at. Well, what happened then in the, in the last seven days between one of you know, the best points you'll get, a nil-nil, really ground out, gritty result at Accrington to, to seven days later? Listen, you know, when we played Salford here and we got beat 3-0, I felt it was a bit of a freak result because I felt we played really well. Today, we were nowhere near. You know, I, I'm not going to sit here and, and, and sugarcoat it any other way. You know, you can ask me all the questions you want, but the simple fact is we were poor um, from start to finish. So it's, uh, and we fully got, deserve, got what we deserved. Morgan's played really, really well. We, we didn't get started all game. Um, and the result, obviously, is, is what it is. Quadruple change was, was telling. Two of those young lads in, in Calais and Goodman. What do you make of them? Excellent, excellent. Energy, appetite, aggression, running. Um, everything they they brought everything when they come on, and and that's really really pleasing to see. And uh, you know, hopefully, the boys who came off can see that what it takes, you know, and 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 what it takes to be part of a team that the way we want to work. Um, and the lads who did come off can do it, but there was too many of our team today um, not getting around the pitch. And then it's it's good because we can we can present all this to the players tomorrow because it's 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 there in black and white to see. Given their performances, have they given you something to think about now and, and probably put the wind up a couple of other players? See, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm digesting this game now. Mm. I'm not thinking about obviously Bradford. We we need to make sure we die, you know we have a look at this game. We put the wrongs right and move into next week on a fresh and get ready for the next one, uh, Bradford at home. So, you know, today's game was just absolutely nowhere near the standards that myself, myself and Cliff set. Um, to win football games, you need to be able to work and run and fight and, and win duels. We lost every single duel today, maybe apart from the odd ball went into Joe Ironside where, he, where he'd flick things on and get a hold of it, but phew, nowhere near. How do you make sure it doesn't impact on you more than just this afternoon and you know your side can, can bounce back in the first attempt yeah we've bounced back quite well this season in all of all the defeats um, what we haven't been able to do yet is put a sustained run together um, in the division so you know that's definitely something we need to, we need to be looking at you mentioned earlier in the piece about your, your ball playing midfielders no close today what's the, the prognosis there Ben will be okay for Friday um, he felt his hamstring in the game here a couple of weeks back, and uh, or was it the Akron game? Sorry, away. Just read right in the last five minutes of the game, uh, George Broadbent will be out for probably six weeks. Ooh, that's that's not great. No, it's just I mean it's just the way it's been at the minute. It's 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 been very tough. You know we have we have got the injuries the length of your arm, which is really frustrating, and it's it's. You know, it's it's something we have to get better as a football club. Hence, why we we brought David in, uh, David Rennie, um, because it needs to be better from all fronts. You know, the recruitment, go, the work was into bringing players into the football club. Are they robust? Are they fit? Can they keep going? Um, finding out statistics, finding out about them from a mental point of view. Um, this is something I think the football club will definitely thrive in and strive in in the next year or two. And uh, you know, David and David being in that role, I'm sure we'll see a real change in it. And this is the thing, isn't it? You haven't got a, a big squad at your disposal at the moment, so those players, the majority of them out there today, you're going to need for the next few weeks up until January at least. Yeah, but look, as a football player, you know, you, you <laughs> League Lover speaks about it all the time. You're self-employed. It's down to you to perform. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's down to you to roll your sleeves up and making sure you work and run. Uh, we, we can't comprehend people not working, me and Cliff. You know, we can take it and beat hundred percent. But when we see people not working, not running, not competing, we need to address that. And that starts from training and things like that. You know, we we will make sure that that doesn't happen in terms of what we see on the football pitch.